Hello everybody, welcome back. This last Saturday, Newcastle managed to beat surprisingly to many people. Spurs at home 4 0 thanks to fantastic tactics by Eddie Howe. And before we move on and I show you how I managed to recreate this tactic in a Football Manager, let's have a quick look at the key aspects of what Eddie Howe did and how he managed to achieve this result. <laughs> Okay, let's start by checking the average positions of the players. This is how theoretically the team was lined up, but they did not line like this at all during the game. And you can see it in the average positions. You can see that Elliot Anderson is actually pretty, pretty high up the pitch. Although, keep in mind, in defense, he was actually part of the back five and we're going to see this in a moment. And uh, these are the average positions. So theoretically, when with the ball, we had Dunburn, Fabian Scher and Emil Kraft kind of back three with uh, Jacob Murphy playing as a right wing back. This here is Anthony Gordon and this is Harvey Barnes. They were both acting as attacking wingers but were also very important in the press. We have of course Alexander Isaac up top and in the middle Bruno Guimaraes and Sean Longstaff. Okay, this is how they were actually positioned when defending. They were defending in a 5 Four, one and this is pretty important in fm because remember the places where we put our players on the field when creating a tactic in fm is where they're going to be doing their defending so it's going to be pretty tough to actually achieve this one so jacob murphy and elliot anderson were actually dropping back and they were having a back line of five and also the wingers were dropping back and creating a line of four in front of the defense one very very interesting aspect to the tactic of eddie howe was that Almost everyone on the pitch had a personal men marking role and Alexander Isaac was actually marking Destiny Udoji, one of the defensive midfielders of Spurs, while Anthony Gordon and Harvey Barnes were actually pressing the center halves of the opponent, while the wingbacks were actually taking care for the opponent wingbacks. And in this way, they were actually pressing pretty pretty high and when they were getting the ball from the opponent they were already in positions where the fast wing players of Newcastle were in very advanced positions positions that are way advanced compared to the wing backs of the opponents because they were pressing the center house and the wing backs were actually taken care of by other two players on the field now let's get back to this monstrosity right here and start checking what kind of roles we have picked and how did I manage to actually recreate the average positions of the players in game. First of all, obviously Anderson, in order to achieve his high average position, we cannot really play him as a complete wing back. There is no way, no matter how inverted you make him, no matter how much you tell him to go further forward, he will never be so high up the field. And here is where FM kind of has a Deficiency, let's say. You can't instruct your players to act as right back or left back in defense, but have a very, very advanced position in front of the midfielders on average and a little bit central when in attack. So therefore, Anderson is going to be an inverted winger on support. And remember, he's going to be marking specifically the opponent DR. On the other side, we're going to have Murphy running wide with the ball to keep him closer to the touchline and he's gonna be marking the opponent dl according to the average positions dan burn and mukraft were actually playing as wide center backs because in possession they were actually a part of a back of three we're gonna have sean longstaff as a bowling midfielder on support marking specifically the opponent attacking midfielder while Bruno Guimaraes as a deep line playmaker on defense will be marking the left defensive midfielder and the right defensive midfielder will be covered by Alexander Isaac who will also be staying wider and as you can see he's also by default positioned in the left channel Harvey Barnes will be marking the right center half and will be a winger to run wide with the ball in front of an inverted winger on the other side we're gonna have Anthony Gordon as an inverted winger on attack and he will be marking the left center half of the opponent now all this with cautious mentality more direct football with lower tempo run at defense and be more expressive passing into space fairly wide counter press and counter attack this was definitely a good instance in real life where you can see both of them being combined together with 
drop off more, trap outside, but trigger press much more often with standard defensive line and a mid block. Now we gotta keep in mind what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a game, we're trying to recreate a game where Newcastle had less than 30% possession, they scored 4 goals with close to 4 XG, conceded less than 1.5 XG against them, and uh, honestly, in Football Manager, without possession, winning like this on counters, super difficult. So let's go and check it out. Okay, let's check out first highlight. Six minutes, strong long stuff, individual effort, scores the goal. Is it super realistic? Not really, I, I don't think so. Here we are at the end of the first half. Alexander Isaac pressing the DM he's instructed to press. Gets the ball from him and scores. This is super realistic, I'd say. Now, but then cool with the ball, Kulushevsky, Madison. Yeah, obviously kind of too open this side because we couldn't get someone to slot in their position. And here we are on the counter. Anderson finds Isaac and he scores another one in the 88 minutes. So final result, 3-1. As you can see, more XG, more shots, less possession. I'd say it's pretty accurate. But let me show you the average positions. Here they are. So, first of all, back three. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Jacob Murphy, great positioning. Of course, Sean Longstaff and Bruno Guimaraes, by the way, if you check the footage, Sean Longstaff is really a tiny little bit further up the pitch's average position compared to Bruno Guimaraes. Here we have Alexander Isaac. He could have been a bit further forward. Maybe an advanced forward can work as well. Here we have... Harvey Barnes and Anthony Gordon. The only thing that is not really as in the real average positions from the game is that Elliot Anderson was actually a bit more advanced than Harvey Barnes, but this is pretty accurate. So that's it. Very interesting tactic. It actually managed to win against Spurs. I tried simulating the rest of the season with this tactic. It didn't go well. So if you want to try something like this, let me know how you did it. If you want to see another tactic like this, let me know. If you like the video, like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.